Hello everybody, we are back here on the brand new account playthrough. This time we are here with episode 6, and this is going to be a little bit different of an episode. So, a lot of you may have just recently got into this game because of the announcement of the brand new map, New England Mountains. And I know that's definitely the case for a decent bit of people, as well as just a lot of people joining the game recently from all of these sales that they have been doing here on Steam and then also on the consoles as well. But uh, I figured that this would be a cool video to do for those of you that have just started because a lot of you may be going straight to New England Mountains. And so this is going to be the episode where we go to New England Mountains. Now I did a little bit of grinding off camera as you can see we've got one more perk point I got that from hunting some more red deer on uh, Tiawaroa and we did actually get a uh, cool red deer when we were over there so that'll probably be in the next episode of the uh, beginner account playthrough. So we will get to that at some point, but today we're going to go to New England Mountains and kind of give you guys an idea of what you could expect if you are going to be playing this map as a lower level player. So we have uh, skipped past the initial opening cutscene of New England because you guys will see that regardless when you enter into the game or enter into New England for the first time. And we are about to go over and unlock our very first outpost. Once we grab that, I plan to probably head it over to this lookout tower right here. And then I would say we'll probably just run around and see what we can find. I want to kind of just run around the fields, maybe search for a few birds if we can, and then maybe just find some stuff in their feeding and resting zones. And then later in the video, we will start hunting around the water for probably some raccoons and foxes and maybe some whitetail and moose as well. I just want to show you guys everything that this map has to offer as a low level player. Let's go ahead and grab this right here. As we hear the call of a fox off in the distance, we might chase after that next, but we have officially unlocked the first outpost on New England Mountains. But there's also something that I am very curious about uh, in relation to what you guys would like to see with this series. What do you guys think about introducing DLC weapons into the series? What level should we add them to this playthrough? I've been thinking about level 20 or level 25 as to like when we should add in the DLC weapons, stuff like the uh, weapon pack rifles, as well as just the stuff that comes with the maps as well, like the 303 from Tiawaroa or the muzzle loader from New England Mountains. Let me know what you guys think as to when we should add those in, and I will uh, try to do things based on what the majority of you say. There is the fox right there. Let's go ahead and take out our 243 if I can remember uh, which uh, slot it's in. Uh, oh gosh. Well, I guess I forgot to equip it, so I should probably do that real quickly. That might help quite a bit with actually getting a shot off into this fox, so let's just do that right there. And uh, let's try to take it down. Here we go, this should be our first uh, chance to take down this fox. That is a bobcat over there as well. Uh, we might have to chase that after, but we're going to start with this little fox right here. Here we go. And there we go. That should have been a good shot right there. Might have been spying, but I do think that was double lung. There it is. Let's see what this little one scores. This is a 4.56 level 4 female. 1165 cash as well as 172 XP. A fox are definitely good for money and XP. And honestly, I think New England might be a pretty good place to kind of grind them for some cash. This is the first map I think ever that has had a decent population of fox and uh, had them somewhat condensed. Like there's actually a lot of lakes where there is a ton of fox. So definitely interested to see if it's going to be a good way of making money on New England. I definitely think it's got the potential to be. So I guess we'll have to see as we progress through this series, but it's looking like it might be pretty good. And there we go. The very first lookout point is now unlocked and we leveled up from it as well. We got ourselves a black bear out here in one of the fields. I've been on my way to try and get one of the other lookout towers, but this one just happened to step out in front of us as I was heading over in this direction. So we might as well take it down for a little bit of extra cash. So there is our black bear right here. This one gave us 1117 cash as well as 149 XP. 14.84 uh, on the score, but it is a female, so I don't really expect the score to be super high. We got a herd of whitetail on our way to the next lookout tower, so let's go ahead and take one of them down. Gonna go for this guy in the front because he is giving us a great angle and also has a decent sized rack. And that is going to completely drop him on the spot. Well, we've got ourselves a bobcat running across the water as well. Let's try to get this one and... 
Uh, we got it. Yep, that is a glitch that's currently happening with the Bobcats, so... Not the most natural looking, but we did get the kill. Let's real quickly grab this guy right here, if... If I, if I, if I, if I can? Um... Wait, it's still alive! What is going on? <laughs> I can't say I've ever seen this happen, so... I, I guess don't shoot a bobcat in the water because this happens. Um. <laughs> oh my. Well, I guess don't shoot a bobcat while it's in the water because uh, that will happen. That was interesting to say the least. And also, how did that shot? Oh my gosh, I equipped the soft point bullets. That's why it didn't hit vitals. Well, uh, regardless, we killed it, just not very gracefully. That's for sure. And here's our whitetail buck as well. 170 on the score. I guess this guy wasn't as big as I thought he was. You know what? The new, like, uh, the new way the whitetail deer look has kind of thrown me off in the fact that the antlers kind of get blurry when you're looking at them. It's made it harder to judge what the buck actually is until I actually claim it, so... That's going to take a little bit of time to get used to. We're going to shoot a few more of these as we go to the uh, lookout tower, but probably going to try and hunt a bunch of other stuff as well as all of these uh, whitetail. I don't want to make the entire video about whitetail because we've had plenty of that on the channel. But that should be a good shot into that buck right there, and he did drop on the spot. There is the next whitetail buck, 227 on the score. That's actually a pretty good one. And uh, 243 XP as well as almost 800 cash. Uh, not too bad. Whitetail definitely don't give the money that I'm hoping to be getting from a lot of our kills this early on. But it is uh, nice to take down a few of them. As like I said, this video is uh, very much supposed to be just what you guys could expect whenever you join New England for the very first time as a lower level player. There is a lot of different animals and uh, Whitetail happen to be one of the more commonly found ones. There is another one right there. And that should take him down somewhat quickly. There is our buck, uh, 181 on the score. We did end up getting vertebrae, but he actually died pretty quickly, so we didn't have to track him for too far. That should take that bear down pretty quickly. That did seem like it was a good shot. Though, the more I'm watching this thing run off, the more I'm thinking maybe I'm wrong. Up, oh, well, actually it died right there. I, I guess we did get it. And here's our level 4 black bear. Let's take a look at this. A single lung hit. 1340 cash as well as 208 XP. Uh, the bear honestly do give a good amount of cash. They're definitely not bad for that. The only problem I ever run into with bears is that there's just not a lot of them on the map at once. So they're typically not good for grinding money. Well, it seems that this lookout tower right here is actually going to be a pretty good vantage point whenever you're trying to get yourselves uh, some kills from up high. It seems like it's actually pretty good. So let's try to take down this little fox right here. I don't know if we're going to be able to make this, uh, but we could at least try it. And we absolutely smoked that thing. That's got to be the best shot that we have took on this uh, brand new beginner's playthrough account. It definitely seems like uh, we have not been able to accomplish anything quite like that until now. So there's our little fox, 4.97 on the score, level 5 female, and we did end up getting a heart shot from 283 meters. That is pretty amazing. Definitely our best shot of the series so far. And now that we have finally got over to the outpost that I've been trying to get to this entire video, I think it's about time that we reset our time and go after a few foxes down at this lake right here. Because there is some pretty amazing fox hunting on this map and I'm very excited to uh, jump into it. Well, after uh, waiting for quite a while for them to arrive at their drink zones, we will now take down our very first red fox of our brand new account. Let's see if we can get this shot in there. That will be a pretty good shot on that little red fox. We are at the 1842 uh, time to find these fox. I believe it is 17, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 17 to 20. I went to 18 just to kind of make sure that they would be at their zones because I found that sometimes if you start at 17, they just won't be there. A lot of the animals in Call of the Wild have always had problems with uh, being late to their need zones, so that is going to be a pretty common thing to come across whenever you are hunting. 
There is our little Red Fox uh, 7.65, almost 1400 cash and over 200 XP. Even a very small male fox gives you a ton of money. This is why we've decided to hunt them a little bit. I really want to see if it's going to be a viable method of earning money on this particular map. Well guys, every bit of footage that you have seen up until this point was actually recorded a few days ago. Unfortunately, that day I had to stop recording because I ran out of time and had to start my stream up. So we didn't get the entire episode recorded, so we're going to finish it off now. Let's head back down to the water and let's see if we can find ourselves some foxes to take down for a little bit of extra cash. And just to show you guys how the foxes are on here. I've had a little bit of trouble getting them to go to their zones. Even on my main account, I did a stream where we were hunting the foxes and sadly they just show up super late to their zones. So there's a good chance that we won't see any, but we're going to do our best to try and find them. Well, I'll be. They actually are here this time, so that is amazing. It seems like uh, they actually decided to show up this time around. There was another one over here that was a female, but I don't think we're going to go for her. We will go for this male, though. This right here will be a nice little fox to take down. Let's just get lined up if we can and try to drop it on the spot with the 243. I don't know if that's going to kill it, but we definitely got a solid hit into it. Or I guess I should say, I don't know if it's going to kill it instantly, but it should go down regardless. I hope you guys have been enjoying this good mix of different things that we have done here with this series. Oh, that shot just barely was a little bit too high. If I had gone slightly lower, we probably would have been good. Oh my gosh, I just realized we have the soft points equipped. Why do I keep doing this? I have done this so much where I forget to do the polymer tips and we do the soft points instead. No wonder we are having trouble getting these little dudes down. That is, uh, that's not great. So this is definitely not the target of the day, but I would say it would be a dumb decision if I didn't try to take this thing down. Uh, since, I mean, money is money, and that is a level 3 moose right there, which we should be able to take down with the 7 mil. That looked like it should have been a pretty good hit. I couldn't imagine this thing running too far. And that is another red fox right there, this one being a level 6 male. Let's get lined up on it. This should be a pretty easy shot. Now that we've got the polymer tips, I could see uh, this going much better than the last one. I still can't believe that I forgot to get the poly tips. That is one of the biggest mistakes I think we have made during this series is just not bringing the proper ammo because I'm so used to only having polymer tips on my main account. That right there is our little moose, got a left lung hit, 937 cash and 186 XP. So there is this little red fox right here, let's go ahead and take a look at it, 10.42. You know, we had just talked about how we keep messing up the ammo and uh, doing soft points instead of the polymer tips and I can't help but think, I'm so happy that has not happened to like a diamond because we have managed to kill our very first diamond in this series a couple episodes ago if you guys remember that and uh, we've also killed a couple rares in this series too and I'm just happy that we didn't get anything weird like that happening on any of those kills because in today's video I've definitely forgot it a couple times and used the soft points instead of the poly tips. Oh my gosh we actually hit one of them. That is crazy, we just hit one with Buckshot. That's going to get us a little bit more shotgun score, which is really nice. That's the main reason I'm taking these random shots on ducks and stuff. Like I've said in previous episodes, we just need to get that shotgun score up high enough to where we can buy the bird shot. And then we can really focus on some of these smaller game animals if we'd like to. And be able to ethically take them down and get full score. So if we can get a few of these ducks just here and there, that is amazing. In fact... Did not get those, unfortunately. And there's our little duck right there. That is a bronze golden eye. Would have been a silver, but we did shoot it with buckshot. That gave us 18 weapon score. We should just need one more kill with the buckshot to unlock the bird shot. So we are super close. In fact, if I had not put away my gun, maybe we could have got this right here. Yeah, not going to happen. Ooh, that is something really cool. We've got a level 7 gray fox right there. The gray fox is one of the few species where the females can make it to level 9 and can also make diamonds. So if we could get that to happen, that would be amazing, but I've never been able to get one. 
It's always been something I'd love to get, but we've just never been lucky enough to find one. There she is, a level 7 gold scoring two-tones female gray fox. Like I was saying, this is one of my dream diamonds to get. If we could get a female gray fox diamond, I would be the happiest person in the world. Hopefully we can accomplish that eventually, but it looks like that's not going to happen today because this is going to be the last thing that we take down. However, before we end, let's go ahead and add our skill and perk point in. Now, I think there's a couple that are going to be pretty important. Well, this will and so will Trek Knowledge. But uh, if we can work up to sight spotting, that's going to be pretty great as well. I think what we're going to start out with, though, is one more into Track Knowledge. That way we can get to level 3. And then as for the perk, let's go into probably handguns and get sprint and load. That way we can reload while we are moving. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it. And also hit the like button if you haven't already, as it is a pretty massive factor in whether or not new people get to see this video. But thank you all for being here, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!